What's the next challenge for European banks and what will they face as challenges and how should the EU react? Well, Vim Mij is European Banking Federation Chief Executive and he joins us now from Lisbon. Mr. Mij, thank you so much for joining us. What do you worry about most? Is it Brexit and the planning process that banks have put in place? Well, worrying about Brexit is uh, one of the things that banks worry about. But indeed, uh, as you mentioned, Andrea and Ria, I would like to congratulate him first because he is indeed a veteran and a very, very good choice for the European Banking, uh, for the, for, for the banking Union, for the single supervisor. Uh, having said that, on Brexit, many banks have taken as a cut-out date, as you uh, have reported in the past, March 2018, for the start of their contingency plans. So what we do now is all the banks are working on their contingency plans. And as a European Banking Federation, who represents 3,500 banks throughout Europe, what we do now is we took talk to public authorities because we feel that cliff ed edge effects need to be avoided on one. So we know that they work on contingency plans as well as they should be. Um, and, but we try to alert them if we find uh, issues that have not been resolved yet. So we're getting prepared actually and waiting for the politicians to uh, make their choices. Right, but I'm sure you've been speaking to a lot of the banks. Where are we in the Brexit planning process at banks? Do they all have the correct licenses or will they all have the correct licenses in time to being able to operate in the EU? Yes, well, uh, there's, there's quite a, it's, it's not easy to answer that as directly as you would like because there are quite a number of banks with either a lot of big business. You can be sure that all the big banks in Europe have been working on this for almost a year to get the right licenses. Uh, they have been granted uh, uh, some delay. Uh, and what is very important here is that the Bank of England and the single supervisor and the ECB work closely together to ensure that there is no disruption and that these licenses are granted mm -hmm. at, the right, uh, at the right time. Uh, then there are, of course, smaller banks uh, that have much less of an impact, but I know that they are also working. Uh, there are Brexit right. task force li literally in all the banks. Mr. Mish, all of global Wall Street is waiting and waiting and waiting for EU bank consolidation. When do we see it? <laughs> uh, that would be that I uh, should whip out my crystal ball now and look into it. But indeed, if you look at the post-regulatory, the post-regulatory um, uh, package is now in place. So banks knows what, know what they're up against. And interestingly, the single supervisor, Mrs. Nui, who will now be succeeded by Andrea and Ria, has called for uh, European consolidation. And you see that, that when the time is right, this will happen. But at the moment, when you saw so much implementation and banks needed to uh, internalize so much, the time wasn't right yet. But I have no doubt that in the coming years, it will happen. Uh, do you think that uh, Mr. Enria will push for more risk sharing in the euro area? If you look at his track record, for example, he was one of uh, the, the people in favor of mechanisms like the joint protection scheme. I didn't get that last question uh, uh, on, on Andrea. Do, do you think Can you please repeat that? Yes, of course I will. I, I was going to ask you whether you think he will be in favor of more risk sharing solutions amongst member countries in the euro area. I think that, uh, well, the risk reduction pa package, as you know, is, is still debated in the so-called trialogue between the European institutions. And there, of course, the question is when uh, uh, risk reduction versus burden sharing. And you see with the, uh, 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 that this, is, this debate is slowly moving on. But it's very political. And as Andrea Anria is a, a veteran supervisor, he will clearly follow and react to the political agenda. But I know personally that this, this needs to be solved. 